Hello, welcome to Bromtech Institute of Engineering. My name is Engineer Msongo, and today we're going to learn the different types of nipples in plumbing. At Bromtech, we normally offer training to plumbers and structural designers and all the technicians required in the structural, civil and structural engineering field. So please feel free and like our videos subscribe to our youtube channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever we are releasing new videos this is the department of civil construction and environmental engineering from the bromtech institute of engineering so let's straight away get into the different types of nipples we have in the field what is a nipple perhaps you have heard of this whenever you are field and you've wondered what is this that my plumber keeps on requesting me to buy whenever we're having a fresh water supply connection. A nipple is normally a short piece of pipe that is normally threaded uh, with male threads on either end or both ends that we use to connect to female fittings. They have male threads and uh, in our earlier video, we already discussed what we mean by male threads and female threads, but I recap. Male threads are threads on the external diameter of a fitting, and female threads are threads on the internal diameter of a fittings. As we will observe later on, uh, nipples come in different sizes. Therefore, it is the use that governs what we will require whenever we are going to buy nipples. And since nipples can be easily available and they can be easily customized to whatever we want, therefore the situation governs what we will go for. The first nipple that we will study today is called a closed pipe nipple. A closed pipe nipple is one with threads across or throughout its length. It is normally a short nipple and female fittings are attached to both ends in a way that a very small gap or space will be left at the center. The second type is called a shoulder pipe nipple. Shoulder pipe nipples are normally those with a very short and threaded region between the threads on either ends. It is actually slightly longer than a closed nipple because of the short and threaded region between uh, the both threaded ends. This region is normally so small that we cannot fit a pipe wrench whenever we are installing this fixture. Therefore, we have to use a pipe wrench on the other fixtures in order to, to open this connection whenever we are doing repairs or adjusting the, the plumbing system. The third type of nipple is called a hex pipe nipple. A hex pipe nipple normally has a very short hexagonal shaped and threaded region between the thread, male threaded regions on either sides. So its name actually is gotten from the hexagonal shape at the center. And it is hexagonal in shape so that it allows a pipe wrench to be fit into it whenever we are opening this fitting. It is more efficient than the other fitting than the, the closed and, and the shoulder pipe fitting because we can use a pipe wrench to open it whenever we have fitted it with the other fittings. Therefore it gives us more flexibility uh, in order of service delivery on, on, on site. Whenever we have this fitting uh, with one side bigger than the other, we normally call it a reducer or an unequal nipple, just as we had discussed in our PPR uh, lesson. And if you had not gone through it, you can check our videos and you will see the PPR lesson that we had discussing the different PPR fittings we have in the field. Also, we will also be releasing more videos in the future explaining all these things. Uh, perhaps you're wondering what is a pipe wrench. 
A pipe wrench is an equipment that we use whenever we are opening these fittings. But we have also done a video on a pipe wrench. So please subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon for notifications in the future. And you could like our videos and comment so that we get feedback on how to educate you in matters plumbing. The other type of nipple is called a groove nipple. And the three images below there show you the grooves on our nipples. They are normally used for commercial, industrial construction, uh, and mining, and, and other large-scale processes. They could be customized, and uh, with technologies such as 3D printing in the market, it is possible to customize this and apply what you want, which is specific to plumbing problem. Therefore, whenever going for group pipe nipples, please uh, ensure you ask for the right sizes. And also, if you lack one, remember these nipples are interchangeable with popular groove pipe fittings already in the market. Therefore, do not labor looking for one uh, that is custom or, or one that is not readily available since we can have a replacement for the same. Another one is called a barrel pipe nipple. A barrel pipe nipple is slightly longer than a closed nipple, a shoulder pipe nipple, and a head pipe nipple that we had discussed earlier. And it is normally threaded on both sides with some section and threaded section at the middle, which is slightly longer than a shoulder pipe nipple. And whenever you're going to ask for a barrel pipe nipple from a shop, please ensure that the length is specified by the overall length of that fitting, including the male threads it has on the edges. Therefore, please ask for the right length so that you avoid surprises uh, at sight. This is called a TOE nipple. A TOE nipple stands for threaded on one end nipple, and it is used whenever we have a female fitting on one end of it. Therefore, we make the attachment by fitting these male threads with the female fitting. And on the other side, we could be having um, maybe a weld connection or a connection governed by what we have on site and what we want to achieve. Therefore, we can go for TOE pipe nipples if we want nipples that are threaded on one end. These nipples are sometimes confused with the weld nipples. But whenever you're using weld nipples, they do not have threads. And the true weld nipples actually have beveled end finishes. Uh, that is normally advisable for doing butt weld connections. Therefore, make the right choice so that if you're going for a TOE pipe nipple, you do not get a weld nipple. We have talked about a weld nipple, but just to mention, weld nipples are connected to tube fittings by welding instead of threads. And if you're not much exposed into the plumbing field, by welding means joining both pipe connections, be it uh, they are made of a metal or, or, or plastic or anything. But remember, we can even weld PPR pipes by using uh, an equipment that hits the pipe and welds them together. And if our pipes are made of galvanized iron or steel, we can also weld them together by using the known welding ways in the field. These pipes are normally suitable under extreme conditions in the field. For instance, if we have by vibrations on site or pressure surges or, or even changes in temperature in, in our liquid and in the, in the environmental conditions, then we need well pipes and it's advisable type of nipple to use in such a case. Whenever we have cut threads, they do not weaken our weld nipples. Uh, whenever we are doing connection on site, sorry, we actually need to consider weld pipe nipples 
if we need something with more structural strength since weld pipe nipples have their full thickness of the walls of, of the pipe uh, as compared to threaded sections where some diameter of the pipe has already been cut away. Therefore, weld pipes are normally very strong and advisable. And if possible, we would go for them. Uh, another one is called the seamless pipe nipple. The seamless pipe nipples do not have a welded seam, as some may think, uh, that runs up the length of the pipe nipple. Actually, they are normally stronger and designed for high pressure applications. And as you can observe, they have a, a, a section in the middle which is unwelded, uh, un, un, unthreaded. And the thickness is, is normally in full thickness because there is no thread cut that has been cut away. But at the connection junction, it normally has threads. But it, since it is uh, a seamless pipe nipple, then it is slightly stronger than the other nipples. We have also something we call the light left hand nipple. These are those with a right hand thread on one end of the nipple and a left hand thread on the other end of the nipple. It is normally used actually for gas piping or piping applications where we do not desire to use unions at all. Remember we discussed water unions and their use in our earlier video but to just remind you a union is normally used uh, at a connection where we would want to open later and perhaps do a repair or an adjustment and this opening will allow us not alter the piping system since after opening you can easily close the union and your plumbing system remains intact. Because of the right hand uh, uh, nipple and the and, and the right sorry the right hand thread and the left hand thread on both ends, the right hand nipples can also be used to connect female pipe thread in 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 uh, installations where we have no unions. Therefore, this is an option if you do not have a union in a connection, and this type of nipple is available you can actually use it. Therefore, we uh, lastly go to a swage nipple. It is normally used to change the diameter of the pipe and connect to pipe sizes. We had already discussed this scenario somewhere that we could use uh, other nipples for the same function but one specifically made for this function is called a swage nipple. It could be plain, beveled, or with threaded ends, but its main function is normally to change the size of, of or, the, or rather the diameter of the pipes. They are normally divided into two types, which are commonly available in the field. And we have concentric swage nipples, which are normally used for vertical pipelines and eccentric swage nipples, uh, which are used for horizontal pipelines. Therefore, please use the right nipple uh, for your connection. Thank you very much for watching our video, and please subscribe to this channel. Press the bell icon so that it will be active. Uh, in case we release new videos, you could be notified as, as we learn together. In, in future, we are also going to discuss uh, the difference between concentric switch nipples and eccentric switch nipples and other things that we find along the way as we study together. So please subscribe to this channel and we will learn together. Thank you very much and may the good Lord bless and keep you.